Howdy, boys, girls, neither both, and in between, and welcome to Christmas. I know it's only November, but as a member of the Black Friday Erosion Squad, I feel the compulsive need to celebrate it early for Mariah. And wouldn't you know it, indie tabletop company Son of Oak agrees in my thrashing of the Christmas NDA and has given me the greatest gift of all product placement. So today I'm going to be shaking things up by unboxing the ultimate set of their hit game, City of Mist, and I'm going to do a video reviewing their actual game when I get three or four players to lock in my basement. Full disclosure, Son of Oak has sponsored me to make these videos, but they don't get to touch the script, so I can call them a cotton-headed ninny muggins and they still have to pay me. But with that out of the way, let's begin. All right, uh, I don't actually know what's in these things, so this right here is the... move. This right here is the City of Mist core set, which comes with the player handbook and the GM's guide called the MC tool set. Eh! Assistant! Help! Uh, yeah, here are the scissors that I have right next to me, but I'm asking you to do it instead. Oh. I cut it over. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Full disclosure, I've played exactly one game of this entire RPG. So, like I said, player's guide. Very fancy book for you. And the Master of Ceremonies toolkit. As well as a DM screen, or as this is called, the MC screen. Assistant! Hey, thanks. That's so, like, have you just, did you go to a job to know how to do this? As you can see, it comes with all the things that a good DM screen should have. So all of the important little markers, a uh, little cheat sheet for you so that you know exactly what you're doing when you're playing the game. Now give me a sec because I want to see how this is formatted. One of the, my big pet peeves about rulebooks is, and this is what World of Darkness does all the time, is they'll put like preambles in between all of the chapters. Uh, luckily, it seems that the core set does not do that. Not only is the table of contents at the beginning of the book, but it actually tells you what things are. I know that table of contents aren't the most interesting thing, but trust me, after buying so many RPG books, I'm thankful that these guys got it correct. Uh, so it says that the lead artist is Marcin Saban. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but hey, good job, Marcin. As for the player's guide, it seems to do a lot of the same thing, table of contents is right, but at the beginning of each chapter, they put a little comic strip getting you excited for each section of the game. But like I said, I'm going to do a review of the actual game in a different video, but that is what's in the core set, uh, which you can get in the ultimate pack. In addition, you can get the expansion pack. They call it the Into the Mist set. Assistant. This is supposed to be a jump cut. Look at that. Look at it. It's just so, it's so clean. Now, the expansion is most of the reason why they wanted me to do this sponsorship in the first place. Uh, and that comes with two little adventures. You've got the Knights of Pain Town. And this book comes with nine small neo-noir adventures that all culminate in a tenth big adventure that lets you decide the fate of the city. And in addition to that book, you get the Shadows and Showdowns expansion. It's less of an adventure and more of a splat book, something that gives more options for players and DMs to do when they're exploring the City of Mist. Once again, both books are artists by Marcin Saban. I still hope that I'm not butchering that name, so you've got that same comic book feel that the rest of the books have. And to assist with the Knights of Pain Town adventure, uh, this comes in the Into the Mist expansion. It is a board map of Pain Town. I can't open this myself. Okay. Assistant, please. Oh my god, this is huge. Cameraman, zoom out! It's beautiful. It's like Manhattan. What else is that? What else is in here? A City of Mist Confidential. It's a album, it's got some other stuff in it. Oh my god. These are all clues that you'll find in the adventure. I'm trying not to show them a whole lot because if you're gonna play this game, you're not gonna want to see these right away. Uh, but these, this is very interesting. So when you play the Knights of Pain Town expansion, I assume uh, at certain intervals, you'll be able to find things uh, that you'll be able to collect and put on the main map. You'll be able to put them there uh, and stick them to it so that you'll know where you found all of the clues and they'll help you piece together the mystery uh, that will eventually culminate in the final adventure. Get back in there. Assistant. And in addition to the core rule book and the Into the Mist expansion, uh, the ultimate set comes with the starter set for new players looking to get into City of Mist for the first time. Yeah, you know what to do. I don't even have to call you now. Uh, one thing to note immediately, the starter set is a little bit more flimsy than the core rule book and the Into the Mist expansion. Uh, it can be pressed into pretty easily, so stacking it on top of all the rest of your stuff is going to be kind of weird. You're going to want to put this on top, and that isn't going to be a problem for most people if you slide things in bookshelf style. But for someone like me who just likes to stack all of his books on top of each other, uh, this can get crushed fairly easily. But on the inside, you have... Let's look at you. Oh, oh, this is so much. Oh, this is so weird. These come with two dice. Uh, one is purple, one is gray. They have some symbols on them that involve the City of Mist. Are they good? Yeah. Uh, the starter set also comes with a bunch of tracking cards for you to use during your games. 
Despite the fact that this starter set comes with the core set, it still has the two flimsy, like, basic versions of the rules for both the players and the Dungeon Master, in this case the Keeper of Secrets, Master of Ceremonies. These are a little bit superfluous because you've already got the big versions, but if you're only getting the starter set, then these will be useful. Uh, these are, yeah, yep, yeah, as I thought, uh, these are character cards, posters, uh, for the pre-made characters. Now, City of Mist, uh, allows you to make your own characters, but they also come with a very interesting list of pre-made characters, uh, that help you get into the idea of how you're supposed to make your person. I appreciate these more than I do in D&D, because we're, whereas in D&D, you have the impression of part of the fun is making your own character, uh, City of Mist, that's also true, but it's a little harder to conceptualize how a character is created in City of Mist. So I appreciate the pre-made characters a lot more in this one than I do in the other ones. So that comes with Tlaylock, Lily Chow, Job, Detective Enkidu, and Baku. It also comes with a bunch of tokens to help you during the starter set, and a bunch of double-sided maps to help you, because the starter set comes with an introductory adventure called Shark Tank. And then here's the other map, and the other side. And then also included in the ultimate set are some character folios for pre-made characters in case you just don't have an active imagination. Got Excalibur, Flicker, Postmortem, Rocket Raccoon, Declan Lestrange, Mitosis, Salamander, Scarlet, fun fact, this is the one character I've ever played, My Reed Conroy, My Red... Red Carnoy? Hmm. Baby New. Copyright Infringement. Lance Sullivan. Bassy. And Bodhi. Uh, and then finally, this wasn't included in the Ultimate set, but it was still sent to me, so I want to review it. You've got a bunch of maps to help you when you play in your game. One thing you might notice right away is that these maps don't really have grids of any kind, and that's because City of Mist relies mostly on a storytelling system and less on a battle simulator system. So you wouldn't use these things in something like Shadowrun, but to have a visual aid, these things are really good. I pretty much require a visual aid to understand what the hell's happening during my games, so I always really appreciate it when the DM goes out and gets something to let me look at. And it seems to me that all of these maps were made for the Knights of Pain Town expansion, but the actual maps in the book are like blueprints because this is supposed to be abstract, so you can kind of just do whatever you want with them. But it's really nice to have a concrete thing to look at to accentuate your games. I don't have anything to say for this one. Map. Oh, and I uh, missed one small little thing from the starter set. Uh, this is an introductory crew, so all of your people are in sort of the same gang. And so this card doubles as both a pre-made crew for you, and then on the back it's a template for you to make your own crew. And that is everything that is in the ultimate box of Son of Oak's City of Mist. All of these things separately cost around $350, but the box itself only costs $220, and for the time being they're running a Black Friday special, which is just under $200. And one more time, that includes the core set, which comes with the player handbook and the Master of Ceremonies guide, as well as a DM screen, the Into the Mist expansion, which comes with the Knights of Pain Town adventure module, and the Shadows and Showdowns... What's up? Your box is upside down. Fuck! The Into the Mist expansion set, which comes with the Knights of Pain Town adventure module and the Shadows and Showdowns sourcebook, as well as a bunch of random other shit, and also the starter set and all of its crudely packaged glory. Overall, I am a pretty big fan of City of Mist, and not just because they're paying my rent. While I've only ever managed to play one game, although that might change very soon, the game that I did play was right up my alley. It's a very abstract kind of game, where instead of having very strict rules that you have to follow, uh, you have concepts, and you get to kind of choose how those concepts play into the game, and work with the other players to do it, as opposed to to a solid handbook that says this is exactly what you can do with this skill and nothing else. It's definitely not the kind of game for players who want to kind of let the game run on autopilot with minimal contact from the DM. This is the game where collaboration reigns supreme, and a lot of it is actually convincing the DM that your skill works the way that you want it to. Which can be really fun or really terrible depending on how good your DM is. But that's my unboxing of City of Mist's Ultimate set. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to check out all my social media in the description below, and if you're interested in buying any of this, please check out the referral link that is in in both the description and it'll be the first comment that's pinned at the very top of this video. But yeah, Davy out.